Hi, welcome. Yes, I'm Phil. I'm the CEO of the Travel Village Group, uh, a family business of 65 years. And... And I'm Paula, Phil's wife, and I work in the business and the director of the Holiday Village. Well, what we've been asked to do is do something completely informal for about, well, I don't know, as long as it takes, really, probably 10 minutes, to talk about our family business and uh, what it means to us, what 65 years means to us, where it all started. And I think probably that's the, uh, that's the best place to begin. Where did it all start? Well, it all started um, probably in, in Stoke uh, back in the 1950s when uh, Nana and Grandad used to come to Blackpool for holidays. And uh, after a while, it became clear that uh, they needed to move to Blackpool because of the clean air. It was uh, causing health problems in the family. So the doctor said, why don't you move to Blackpool? Because if you're good when you're there, why don't you go and live there permanently? So, so they did. They did, mm -hmm. yeah. So off they went. To Blackpool and uh, my granddad sold, Nan and granddad sold the post office in Pitts Hill in Stoke and they uh, moved to Blackpool and bought a post office on Highfield Road which is uh, the same road that we are still on today where the travel village is trading um, and what granddad did was he decided that he was going to start selling tickets over the post office counter, tickets, bus tickets, things like Smith's Happy Ways and people like that, and he would uh, send people off on trips, on day trips. Coach trips. Yeah, coach trips. And after a while, he decided that the thing to do would be, why don't we sell holidays to the landlady? So Eric uh, got his posters out, contacted ABTA, and uh, started selling holidays and to places like Mallorca and Benidorm and Lorette de Mar and the Costas. And he used to cycle up and down uh, Highfield Road uh, and then onto the promenade and collect all the money from the landladies and uh, then he'd send them happily off on their way. Probably cash in those days. There was definitely cash. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you where the cash came from as well, the way it was hidden. You want to see the state some of the cash came in from underneath those mattresses of those, uh, <laughs> those uh, land landlords and landladies. Fantastic. Great story. So that was where it all started, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and the business grew from strength to strength. Um, Mum and Dad were in the business from the beginning um, and then I joined when I left school in 1983. I came straight out of school. I didn't do sixth form and I certainly didn't do university and I came, I knew what I wanted to do, I came straight into the family business and uh, I spent my summer holidays uh, before, before that, when I was still at school, I spent my holidays coming into the building and uh, into the travel agency. It was born travel as it was then. My granddad was called Eric Bourne, and I used to stamp brochures, and uh, he used to get pay me ten pence for every hundred brochures that I stamped, and uh, that was how I, I learnt my trade. I learnt all the hotel codes, and I learnt where places were in the world. My geography, I was uh, no use at geography at school. My geography teacher John Ashcroft hated, I think, the fact that I probably failed miserably, but I knew everything about destinations and places in the world and that was good enough for me. And I've not done too bad since I left school. Um, so that was, that was how I started and cut my teeth, went into the family business. And uh, at a young age of about 20 or so, I used to go to uh, Thompson Holidays, which was one of our biggest suppliers. And we used to go there every, every Christmas and a few times during the year. And that was where I first uh, saw Paula, yeah, wasn't it? Gosh, yes. What were you doing? Um, so I used to work in the um, National Sales Office, actually, of Thompson Holidays and work for Portland and Co-op Holidays. But yeah, that's where we used to work. So looking ha after your mum and dad's business, actually. You did. We used to do loads of groups. We used to send people away from Blackpool on coaches. We used to go down the Fowl Coast and pick people up from Fleetwood and Bispam. Blackpool, then we'd go into St Anne's and Lytham and off up the M55 motorway and uh, quite often I would uh, go for a ride at six o'clock in the morning with the drivers of the buses to the airport for a bit of fun and nothing then and then do. come back, yeah, nothing else to do, checking everyone had got the passports. <laughs> we did a few runs from dropping, pe well, dropping people off and picking them up at bridges on motorways because they'd left passports at home. So I did a few of those in the early days. Um, and, and then we, we, we moved forward with the business and uh, what happened was 
there was many obstacles in the way, as there always are in business. You know, we had wars, Gulf Wars, Falkland Wars, all those things, and the business changed. We focused on coach holidays when there was no flying, and uh, that was it. That was interesting, and that was a that was a that was a good time. It's quite fun actually, picking people up and down the coast, taking them all around the country, all around the UK. We had some great fun doing that. Uh, and do it that, all again. <laughs> yeah, we had. Yeah, we had to do it all again. Yeah, we did. You know, you never know what's around the corner, do you? Um, so that was that. And then after a while, mum and dad decided they wanted to get retired. And uh, I took over the family business. And that was in, uh, that's all that we moved into Highfield Road just in the early 2000s. I think we opened the first cruise centre, Save and Sail, for those who can remember, on Highfield Road. And that uh, moved forward into what it is today, which is the, uh, the travel village. Um, but when we opened Save and Sail, we were the first, I think the first high street cruise travel agency. So we sold nothing but cruises. A bit different today where we send 50% of the business we do is land-based, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. 50% of it's cruise. Yeah. Um, and then eventually, all those years ago, uh, me and Paula, we got together and uh, we started a homeworking business, which is called The Holiday Village. And I think Paula can give you some insight into how that started. Yeah, so that was... Um started in May 2018 so we obviously um, new business no agents um, and to date we have 85 agents all throughout the UK and in Spain and Turkey as well so it's a busy business we don't mass recruit it's about taking the right people who give great service um, and we've sort of stuck to that over the past few years and great support network and yeah it's another arm and another distribution to the travel village group and then in 2014 we introduced the fourth generation into the family business didn't we did. when uh, my daughter joined and she now heads up the marketing team and ten years already yeah no it's fast. crazy isn't it yeah. she she i remember when she did her uh, What's it you call work experience? And I rang a, a very good friend of mine up at P&O Cruises at the time, Giles Hawke, and he, I said, can you help me out, mate? I said, I need uh, some work experience for my daughter. And uh, he put her in the marketing department of P&O Cruises in Carnival House, very mm -hmm. kindly. And that was brilliant. So that's where Jess decided she had an appetite for the business and now looks after our marketing team. And then, of course, your lad came in. Yeah, yeah. So um, Dan heads up the IT and the communications, mostly for the agents, the business, but for our business owners. Um, we have cousins in the business. We, oh, have we do have cousins. Sister. Um, so, you know, and we've got a great team of people. Everybody everybody matters in the business. They do, don't they? Well, Susan's been with us a long time. Carol Ann, my cousin, she's been with us longer than I have, 40 something years. She's been with the business. She started off at the very beginning with my granddad. Um, so we're very lucky to have a business that's got good family members and people actually we call family as well in, in the business. So we're very, very, very lucky. Um, so Paula joined and that was really a, a turning point for the business. It moved forward considerably uh, and the brands continued to develop. So the Travel Village on Highfield Road is now one of the biggest retail stores in the UK, it's, That's uh, it's Northwest Best Travel Agency. Yeah, we just won the TTG Award for the Northwest Best Travel Agency. We're very proud of that. Um, travel Village is going from strength to strength. We have uh, we started a river business uh, that's doing fantastically well as well, and the Southampton Cruise Centre is now oh, it's one of our biggest parts of the business. It's an e-commerce business. How times change. I remember when we started, we were still sending telexes. We had charts on the wall and key and lamp phone systems, if anyone remembers those. And now we've got a multi um, a business that actually uh, transacts on many platforms. So Southampton Cruise Centre is a, a real success story for us. And uh, it's a great e-commerce business and gives our customers more opportunity and chances to book with us, um, especially when it's out of hours. So that works really well for us. Um, so that, that basically is, um, is the story of our business, 65 years uh, in, in a nutshell, and we've come a long way, I think. 
Yeah. And we're both really proud of it, aren't we? Yeah, 100%. It's great. It's busy. But busy, but... very busy. <laughs> and I think, you know, if we're, before we finish this, the, the most important thing about everything that we do, um, outside of, 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 of Paula and myself, it's about the people and it's about our customers. You know, without our customers, we wouldn't have a business. Um, we don't get mo everything right. I think we get most things right. Uh, if things ever go a little bit pear-shaped, and occasionally do, and it's not always our fault. In fact, invariably, it isn't our fault. You know, we just had recent instances in Manchester Airport, haven't we? Yeah, and, that was you a know. wholesome day of making oh. sure customers were okay and looked after, and, you know, especially the, those customers that were going on cruises. Yep. Um, yeah, so it's a challenging day, but we're there for our customers and we got everything sorted, didn't we? Absolutely, and I don't think we'll ever lose focus of the most important thing, and, and that is our customers. And again, our customers are well looked after by the super people that we have in the business. And we're very lucky. You know, we have a great business. We, I think it's fair to say we run a very tight ship. That's really important. Our customers need to have confidence that the booking with a business that is uh, built on solid foundations, um, especially after everything we've been through with COVID, um, we've bounced back really well. Uh, it's no secret, we put a lot of money into the business to keep everybody employed. And I think that's reaped dividends. I think it was the right moral thing to do. And we're very lucky, very lucky to have a great team of people looking after our customers and uh, we thank them for that. And I think all of us are getting quite excited. We're looking forward to a great evening. We're going to have our own celebration with the travel industry uh, in Blackpool, the Tower Ballroom. At Christmas, so that's going to be something winter to look wonderland, forward to. Isn't it? it is going to be a winter wonderland ball. Amazing. Can't guarantee snow. Yeah. We never get snow in Blackpool. We might be able to make some. We might be able to make some. We'll have to see. Ridiculous. Yeah, we'll have to ask Jonathan nicely. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, it's been great just to share with you uh, some uh, details and the history of our family business and just to reassure you that we're here for you. And uh, we're always going to do our best for you. We'll always look after you. And thank you for supporting us. Please recommend us to your friends. Please follow us on Facebook and all the social channels and whatever they are nowadays, Instagrams TikTok. and TikTok <laughs> and all that. Uh, but listen, from the bottom of our hearts, we just want to thank you all for supporting us over the last uh, 65 years. And I'm sure there's a, a lot more to come. So with that, we'll wish you a fond farewell. Thank you. And uh, goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. Bye-bye.